this is Halifax, Nova Scotia, one of the most famous waterfront cities in the world. The great European supply convoys of World War II sailed from here, and it was Halifax that fell prey to the great explosion of 1917. Well, Halifax still explodes every year, but it's a different kind of explosion. It's an explosion of fun and excitement. The buskers are in town for the International Street Performers Festival. I'm Tony Quinn, and together we're going to take in some of the acts and talk to them about the past, the present, and the future of these amazing street performers called buskers. Everybody all together, you ready for a show? Yeah! Uh, are we? Yeah! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I juggle some machetes up here. Here we go. Good. <laughs> All right. Go for it. And the crowd goes. Whoa! <laughs> Nicole, you did a very good job. I want you to grab the hat for me and bring it right up here where all the people can reach it. <laughs> Set it on top of this thing. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to make much money that way. I just juggled and I was able to make enough to, to get a, a bus out. I made like $30 in that 15 minutes. And I knew right then, I'm never gonna work for a living. My first trip, juggle five balls, stand on one leg. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The next one. Juggle five balls. Speak our foreign language. Hello. How are you? It's all right. I got it. I got it. I, got, I told you I got it. We're going to make this even more exciting by attempting to stand on one foot. One wet foot. And there it is. Oh my god, what's that? Oh my god, what's that? Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Mom, I'm in the middle of a juggling show. Yes, there are about 10,000 people watching me, Mom. Yeah, in, in Halifax. I don't know where that is either, Mom. I know, you're probably wondering if all buskers are a bunch of wild and crazy people. Well, they probably are, but not all of them perform as if they are. To some of them, the street is an ideal stage for their own music and their compositions.
neat thing about buskers is the price of admission. There isn't any. You just simply settle down, pull up a piece of sidewalk, and watch the show. I should mention, though, buskers pass the hat after they perform. That's what they do for a living. And if you've enjoyed the show, they'd be expecting a contribution. Still in all, there's something nice about paying for something after you've tried it. Well, yeah, you know, a lot of buskers rely on passing the hat, so they would have, like, a hat which suits them, you know? So each, even when performers go out, they always wear a hat. It, it's it's so my hat, personal. My hat just doesn't make it. It wouldn't crazy. collect, no, no. It wouldn't collect 10 too, bucks. Too much of, like, a, the 10th hole of a golf course kind yeah, of a hat. Right? No. Yeah, I know. But I've seen hats, I've seen hats made of wire, like a frying pan, fish. Yeah, they're not too popular in this town, but I, I well, have seen Well, no, there's yeah. a reason for that, though, <laughs> because it's like when you pass the hat, you have to put dollar bills in. The change uh -huh. just don't sit in it, because ah, it's made okay. of wire, you see. It's a gag. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Great. Ask your mother for more. <laughs> Thank you. No, I don't have change for a nickel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. Oh, Fiverr, blue money. <laughs> Model citizen over here. Afterwards, I will be passing my hat. My policy is, if you can give, please give. But if you cannot give, kindly refrain from taking. Thank you. That's our show. That's our show, boys and girls. I would just like to say to the audience, to make banking easier for you folks, we're setting up a suburban branch. <laughs> What's the matter, sweetheart? Why, why are you crying? Where am I? Well, you're here in the middle of a big Nazo puppet show. What are you doing here? I don't know. I was just born yesterday. Oh. Well, listen, kid, why are you crying? Because I'm hungry. Do you have any fire I can eat? You must be a street performer's kid. Listen, kid, what's your name? Pinto Bean. Well, Pinto Bean. I hate when parents name their kids after vegetables. Listen. What's your name, Big Nose? Well, my name... My name is Quasimodo. Quasi-Dodo? That's silly. I can't babysit for this kid. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I've got it. Farfisa, you take the microphone. I'm going to look for the baby's mother. All right, man. Kids, stop laughing. I hate laughing. Okay, the just for the... Hello. <laughs> oh, what a strange day this Quasimodo. Oh. oh, hello. How you doing? I just saw your show downtown. You were great. Oh, thanks a where lot. Are your, where are your friends? Oh, they're all sleeping in. I just uh, came out for a little walk. Are you having a good time here at the Buskers Festival? Having a great time. And how do you like Halifax? How do you like working in Halifax? It's beautiful. Look at out there. It's a it's beautiful great, place. It? It's got lots of green. It's, it's a, a good place day. to perform in, I tell you. I'm in here. Oh, hi. How oh, are hi. you? Hi. How are you? <laughs> Have you seen Quasi around? Oh, uh, yeah. I think he just took off running when you turned your head. I'm I'm the type who's who's a lot more attracted to doing like underdog activities. I really believe in independent work and being free to just make your own artistic decisions. So my inclination would be to like um, create my own puppet company mm -hmm. as opposed to working for a larger one. Just for the, the sheer excitement of working with people and being with friends and making your own decisions and making your own things happen. I've heard it said that the word busker derives from an old English word meaning pirate. I've also heard it said that buskers are legitimate descendants of medieval court jesters, troubadours. In any event, buskers can be quite risque from time to time when the mood strikes them, and of course nobody will deny the fact that singing, dancing, and juggling for your supper is a pretty risky business. Hi, Dan. <laughs> All right, everyone, quickly, move it underneath me. Please. <laughs> Okay. Good. Wait, 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 wait! Stop it! Not ready. I don't like the look in your eyes. Hey, thank you, sir. Thank you. Give me a high five.
Now this trick is a dangerous trick. I'm looking down 14 feet. And today, I'm doing it without my safety device. <laughs> Throw a lid charge between my legs. That's right, great balls of fire. <laughs> All right, here goes. You see it? All right, I can't fool you. I'll do it. Yeah! It's been a real fun thing for me. I enjoy performing. I, I, you know, I really love it. I feel very fortunate that I can do what I enjoy and make other people, you know, happy and walk away from my show feeling good and feel, feel like they've been entertained. Okay, this is the ladder routine. Uh, there was two people in North America did it, now there's three. Okay, uh, now I just need the flaming torches. Okay, now, <clears throat> to juggle them. Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, Mike, you want to take these torches for me? Uh, sorry, Tony, I only have two hands. I didn't say sit on me, I said get on the seat. Is he on the seat? Is he on the seat yet? What is he? I'm calling you not to get up here. Oh, man. Oh, you crazy. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Oh. 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 What's the most difficult thing that you do? Or do each one of you find different things more difficult? Uh, unicycles were the most difficult to learn. They took the longest, you know. But now that we know them, they're really easy. easy. You're nine. You'd be the you're the youngest performer in the festival. Yes. Wow, what's that like? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty exciting. Yeah. Who's the oldest? Do you think? I know who the oldest Ray is. Jason. I think the, the oldest. I think the oldest is the organ grinder. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, we've been together four and a half years. And then we're going to Australia, and after <laughs> Australia, then we take a little break to be with our respective families at Christmas. Uh -huh. My job is hanging on a thread. Mm -hmm. They're I looking for a new it. drummer. You what? play drums, kid? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> sort of a sway motion there. Great. Now, what I'm going to do is fit this first ball high up into the air. Touch the ball in my mouth. I don't know who's going to hit it. Hit it high. That's right.
Okay, now. It's a bit early. at the gym do. Yeah. Thank you. That excitement. That's what I like about my kind of life. Out of all the buskers that are here at the festival, do you think you're going to run into any of them uh, in your travels this year? Oh, I'm running into people all the time. Uh -huh. Other other performers. I mean, just being Guatemala in one spot where there's a lot of other travelers. I met this guy who saw me busking in Japan. I need meet another guy who saw me in the Philippines. People saw me in North America. Other people remember me from Germany. You know, it's like, it's great. I find this the very uh, exciting part of it is the fact that these uh, people are coming from all over the world and they have all their own dreams right in their eyes and they're, they're here to tell me and they're here to tell the other people. here in Halifax. I know we can do it. They can do it in Thailand. They can do it in Czechoslovakia. They can do it down Yonga. They can do it in Wisconsin. Bark, barking, I hear the dog talking, telling me what's in the streets. Keep bark, barking, I hear the dog talking. You're telling me everything he says. Well, it's the ultimate of freedom, that is for sure. I don't have anybody to tell me, Mr. Lejeune, now do that. Because I'd call him something else and I'd get fired, right? In my job now, I can do what I want. Uh, it's a challenge every day. <laughs> going to take a little more time than we had today with the buskers to develop that magical art of drawing and keeping a crowd and getting them to contribute a little bit for your supper. I hope you've enjoyed the experience as much as I have. I know one thing, I'm not going to hurry by a performer on a street corner in a subway or near a park entrance because, well, that's where a lot of the busker festival performers are headed, to cities and towns all over the globe to do what they do best, to dance, entertain, play and sing. And it's often just for the love of the art because, well, the money isn't always there. And sometimes your entire audience could be a policeman telling you to move on. But not tonight and not in Halifax. It's the International Street Performers Festival and it's two weeks of turning Halifax upside down. Just want to be free No, I don't want to be no rock and roll star 
have a lot of groovies, drive a Cadillac car You know the sun is my light, and the street is my stage Instead of a check and fill my pocket, I would change In the garden of the Madison Square Rather be a wandering minstrel At the Oregon Country Fair And you won't see me playing On a big TV 